Hey, this is Scott, and today I'm going to be talking about a literal basket full of parts, just like this, from Nine Dot Solutions. So Nine Dot Solution makes a huge range of parts to rig up pretty much anything you can imagine. The best way to describe them is basically like Legos for adults. Their product range stretches from everything from GoPro mounts all the way up to huge car mounted setups for you know large cinema cameras and stuff like that and you know everything in between. And really the only limit is going to be your imagination. It sounds so cheesy but it really is true. I'm just going to quickly go over some of the pros and cons of these Nine Dot Solutions products in general. Um, and then I will go in depth into each of these products that I have here and kind of give you a little overview of what they are, what they have to offer, and what I've used them for. So my favorite part about this whole Nine Dot Solutions range of parts is the quality versus the price. I know there are cheaper things on the market that may look similar, but I've used those and I can confidently say, unless you're just rigging up like something, a piece of paper or foam core, you should stay away from those things. Um, they're worlds apart from what you have here. I also have used some of the other, you know, brand name manufacturers, parts that may look similar to this in design, but I can say again confidently that the quality here is going to be the same or higher at a price that is the same or lower than those other manufacturers. And what you're getting here is also a lot of unique designs that you're not going to see from other manufacturers that will add a little bit of flexibility in how you can use them. Or, you know, even at times it might add a little bit more of trust that you can place in these parts to hold your, your rig really securely. And on top of that, Nine Dot Solutions has that really wide range, the really full um, system that you can work with. You can get, you know, a small collection of parts to start with, and then you can build on that as you need it, as you want to build up different rigs to support different cameras or different uh, lights or whatever it is that you're building, you can add onto that system. And then with those parts that you're collecting, you can repurpose them and make a, just a ton of different setups. I mean, these parts are really flexible in how you can use them. And just as you little by little add to your collection, you're really going to see the huge number of ways that you can use these parts. And that's something that I think a lot of other manufacturers can't offer. In terms of cons, the only thing that I can really see here is just that they have so much to offer. And when you're first starting out and you're first looking for um, some parts without really a clear idea of what exactly you need, it can be a little bit overwhelming to try and sort through everything to find something that will work for you. If you do have a clear idea of what you need, then it's awesome that they have such a huge variety because you can find exactly what you want. I mean, often they have the same clamp in three or four different versions. But again, when you're first starting out, it can be kind of overwhelming to decide, I, I like this clamp, but which mount do I need? You know, which one will be the most useful for me? Um, so I got a number of parts here today that I will be showing you in just a minute. But also, if you head on over to their Facebook page, they always post a ton of different setups from different people, so you can really get some great ideas from that. So I'm looking at that. You can see what parts people used and how they used it, um, and it will give you some really good inspiration. So let's get into some of these parts that I have here. Um, I tried to get into a good cross-section of different parts that um, I wanted to show off as something maybe you could use, of course, by itself or with you know, a minimal number of other parts and still get a lot of use out of it. But of course, these are all going to be things you can build on to build much larger or um, creative rigs. Let's go over these and I'll show you some of the differences in maybe the different mounts that the clamps come in, as well as how I've been using them. So this is really the first part that I had kind of a clear image of how I would use it, but it's been super useful in other ways too since I've got it. It's basically two of their Python clamps put together. They're relatively low profile clamps that have an angled grip to grab onto a bunch of different surfaces, flat, round, even square poles, very securely. You can twist the clamps to different angles, and they'll even hold that position once you tighten them down. Even the knobs on here are all metal, and they're really, really easy to grip. And the overall design of these mean you can really apply a lot of power with very little effort. You can even replace these with larger T handles, though, if you want to. I found that one side of this will open and close the clamp, but won't really allow you to twist it, well, loosening the other side will allow you to also twist that. So this is the side you're going to want to clamp down really, really tightly to avoid slipping in that twisting direction. What that means is that if you're using this with something more delicate, you're probably going to want to put that in this side, which does not affect the twisting, because you can tighten this down with a lighter touch. So this is really, really perfect for, you know, mounting things alongside each other, be it a foam core board as a reflector or a quasar LED tube or something like that. You can mount this onto, you know, a light stand, the edge of a table, onto a railing or anything really, really easily. And then you can have the things, you know, parallel or at an angle to each other. But once you get this, I think you'll find tons of different uses for it. And because it's so convenient to use by itself without having to combine it with other parts, I think this is probably what I would recommend as the number one most useful part on its own from Nine Dot Solutions. 
Speaking of that, I do have a single version here of the Python clamp as well. And I just want to show you the mount that I got this in, which they call the snap in socket. It will attach to a 5 8 inch stud or spigot, and it will snap into place when you push it on as a kind of safety lock. I'll use this just to show you really quickly how that works. As you push it in, this will just snap into place, and then it's locked in there. It will still turn, but you can use this screw here just to tighten that down to avoid twisting, and you're good to go. To release it, just push on this spring-loaded screw here, and you can take it right out. I really, really like this. It's a very cool design here, and these Python clamps can actually also be rigged up to work in place of your standard grip head on a C-stand, which is pretty interesting. So next up are these Savior clamps, and these are similar in function to the Python clamps, but they have this pivoting grip that's also shaped a bit differently, and this will really give you the maximum flexibility in terms of what you can securely mount this to. Because of this shape, it should keep multiple points of contact on most surfaces, no matter what the shape. These all have female quarter 20 and 3 8 inch screw mounts, as well as a few different additional mounting points. These come in a few different versions. I have three here that I'm going to show you today. The first up it has a stud built in, and this would be great to use with something like the Aperture 120D, which has that female socket built into the light itself. You could also attach an additional uh, grip head on here, and just a whole range of stuff will work really well with this. This one has a socket with a similar push lock function like I showed you with those Python clamps, and this can take both round and hexagonal 5 8 inch pins. The third, which I'm using right now to mount my monitor to the table, has just a standard 3 8 inch screw mount for things like a ball head, that's how I'm using it right now, or some of 9-dot solutions arms or rods to build this into a larger system. These double joint arms are pretty cool heavy duty arms with ball joint 5 8 inch pins on either end which are also tapped with 3 8 inch female threads, allowing these to be used with pretty much all of the clamps that I just talked about. There's a single lever in the center which will loosen both ends at the same time, and then you can just twist them around like you would any typical ball head. The pins on these also have a flat side to let you screw them in and avoid spinning, which makes them a really nice secure fit with the socket version of the Python and Savior clamps. Combining these lets you mount them on a table, pole, tripod like anywhere really, and get more distance for whatever you connect on the other side with a good amount of flexibility in how you position it. There are four lengths that these are available in, and as they get longer, they have a lower weight capacity just because, you know, well, physics. So think about what you want to use them for before you choose the size. Again, everything here is really, really solid, 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 and all of the moving parts are incredibly smooth. Only the lever to tighten this down is plastic, but it feels like a really good quality of plastic, and there is nothing, I mean nothing about these arms or any of these parts that I would say is anything less than absolutely top-notch rugged quality. So like I said before, I think once you get your hands on a few of these parts, you'll start to see the huge range of uses that they have, and it really is awesome what a full and complete System 9 Dot Solutions has to offer, so I think this is going to be a lot of fun, and it's definitely useful, but you know, like I said, it's Legos for adults, so it's a lot of fun to build up different rigs as well. Once in a while, I get something, and I just think, ah, I wish I had got this sooner, because, you know, sometimes it's so simple, but it's so useful. And these parts from 9 Dot Solutions strongly fall into that category. So as always, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below, and I will do my best to get back to you. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it if you'd like, subscribe to see more in the future, and as always, thank you for watching.